What's up, people? Welcome to How's the Market, presented by the Nash House Group of Coal Baker Midtown. My name is Kill the Board, and this is Angela Nash. How are you doing? Today? Hello, people. What's how, happening? How was your Thanksgiving? Well, well you know how Thanksgiving. my Thanksgiving was because <laughs> I saw you. <laughs> yes. We had some amazing dishes. Uh, we had yeah. some what was that, that chicken, the sweet Thai chili. Oh, yeah, the sweet Thai uh, chili chicken. Um, over a bed of like Thai slaw, yeah, it's bananas. That was amazing. that was a little something we came up with like last minute because you, know, you need an appetizer. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, we hope you guys had some wonderful food as well. I know we yeah. really had a good time. We had some sweet, some sweet treats. It was pretty amazing. So we hope the same for you guys out there. Hope yeah. you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And. Angie, how is this Columbia market report? How's the well, market? Yeah, we can get right into the market report because, um, you know, there's all kinds of things happening. So we had yeah. 205 new listings last week, eight, 33 expired. Um, price changes, 167 price changes. So like we always tell you, go and check out those price changes. You might find that there's something that you were looking at that the price has had a reduction. Um, we closed 307. And then we had um, pending 442. So um, a lot happening in the Columbia market. Um, and like, I guess, what is it like? So today is the, it's almost like this is the last week in November. So you'll yeah. see our full market report for the entire month of November. Um, I guess like in not too long, like a couple of days even. Right. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> wow. It's hard to believe that November is over. That is crazy. Very weird. Very strange. Yeah. It went by so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did. It went by super fast. But Caleb, you've got some current events. So what's happening in current events that you're seeing right I, now? I do. So I want to give a little warning, guys. Do not freak out. Do not freak out when I tell you this. <laughs> yes, we're here to, the, to clarify and not terrify. Yes, because, you know, you'll see headlines that people start to go crazy. And then I start hearing stuff on the street. Be like, it's, the market is terrible. I'm like, it's false. That is false. They're just, yes, there's false. a lot of panic. Right. We got to get you Always settled. panic when people don't know. So exactly. Exactly. So this is what when you look at the statistics, the 30 year fixed rate mortgage was two nine two point nine percent in the third quarter of 2021. And the forecast says that mortgage rates to, will increase slightly through the remainder of the year and reach three point zero percent, rising to three point five percent for full year 2022. Mm -hmm. People hear that and you're like, oh, my gosh, mortgage rates yeah. are increasing. And yes, they are. But. The important thing, though, is that it's as a buyer, it's important to plan for these things. So to be the smart in this market, you want to plan for these things and also like look at how mortgage rates are going to increase. So you're not caught off guard later yeah. on. It's important to plan for that. So when it comes, you're like, OK, I was ready for this rather than being caught off guard. Well, yeah. <laughs> and we're still we're still at some of the lowest interest rates that we've seen. I mean, we're exactly. still nowhere near where we were like two, you know, like three, four years ago or your yeah. parents' interest rate, like from the old days, it's still right. like a really good market and the interest rate are still really low. So these are still competitive rates. Um, yeah. I know people who had these rates in, you know, 2019, so um, 2018. So uh, right. we're still in a really good market. So the rate, right. as far as the rates go, don't panic by that. You're still got the buying power is still there and there's still an opportunity yeah. in this market to buy homes. We're still ahead for the year um, over yeah. where we were last year. So, um, yeah, don't don't be afraid of that. Like Caleb said, you plan for these things. But also, you know, what that says to me, if you're looking to buy a home and you don't want to pay those interest rates, yeah. buy now. Right. <laughs> exactly. It's not the time to wait. It is not the time to wait. The time yeah. is now. And it's yeah. also important to realize that even when mortgage rates do increase, it does not force the market to come to a halt. Yes. And some people see that and they think, oh my gosh, it's going to come. No, that's false. Yeah. That, that's and I also, think, I also think too, like one of the big things people talk about is like, oh, when the market crashes, I'll buy. Let me tell you something, guys. If the market crashes, you will be buying, oh, let's just see. Do I have something on my desk? <laughs> um, I don't know. You will be buying a little house for way more than you ever imagined. So Nobody yeah. wants the market to crash for many reasons. We don't want it to crash because, you know, we live here. This is our economy. But also because we want to um, let you know that, like, if that does happen, you're going to, if you think interest rates are high now, if you think that you're getting a little bit of house for um, a lot of money now, that's yeah. actually not even remotely close to what you will see with um, a crash. So there you go. Fair, you fair. Have to let people 
Yeah. Yes, we have to let you guys know. So I feel like just, we clarified and we took out all the terrifying. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I think people should feel a lot more calm after our report on that news. Yeah, so and just, after holiday yeah. turkey. So exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, people, you know, you're. It's like you're sitting down, relaxing over the holidays, and you see yeah. headlines, start panic. No, continue enjoying your holiday season. Exactly. It'll be okay. And, give and if us you're a planning call. to buy. Yeah, let us know right now yeah. so we can try to get you um, into a home uh, yeah. and soon. So, yeah, it's it's a great time, especially if you want to be in a home before the new year. It's not too late, actually. So you no. can give us a call like probably like this next week and make some plans. Um, go check out some houses that you want to see. We actually yeah. have some really good listings coming up, some that are getting some like fresh paint, things yeah. like that. I know two of them are, but two of them are currently listed. One's a really cute, modern um, ranch style um, patio home. Yeah. The other is a very nice uh townhome pied if you will uh with a very <laughs> nice style what do you say it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty frenchy and, and fancy right I'd say French, so. southern country, I'd French say, country. I yeah, yeah it's very it's, very beautiful it's and it's actually yeah. near it's a townhome like there's very few townhomes that are considered to be in the wildwood neighborhood which is where mm-hmm. i live and i love wildwood um and yeah. it's in the wildwood neighborhood so make sure that you check those out as well um those are those are two listings and we are promoting them on our yeah. websites but if you want a private tour definitely give us a call and we'd yes. love to do that for you um so we've gotten into all the current events and all the yeah. stats and the numbers let's talk about a little fun news <laughs> would you say this is a black friday sale i would say this is a black friday sale because this is pretty Pretty cool. And these buyers definitely scored big for this home because this home is pretty immaculate. And Mm -hmm. the owner is none other than Dave Ramsey. Yeah. So Dave Ramsey saw the market. He's like, this market is very hot. So he took the opportunity. He built this home from scratch a while back. And then he was like, this market is really hot. So let's put this amazing mansion on the market for sale for 15 million. They actually went down to 10.2 million recently. And then that's when it sold. But this house is immaculate. And they plan to go, him and his wife, they plan to go to a property they got on the south of town. They got a lot more land. So they're set. They're good to go. But yeah. the buyers definitely scored out on this one. Because this home is immaculate. I'll show some pictures. Look at that. That's that's amazing. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that is nice. And I hear that this is right near, is it Leanne Rhymes? This is who it's met, like. They'd be yeah. neighbors of Leanne yes. Rhymes, Eddie that Sickle, is whatever. His, I can't remember his last name, but yeah, yeah. So you could be a neighbor of they could. They're going to be neighbors of Leanne Rhymes and, and best friends with her. Maybe who knows? We'll, we'll yeah. wait to see. It's well, speaking exciting. of the holidays, because there's so much going on, we're going into December first, and for all of our VIPs, if you're not part of our VIP um, Facebook group, let us know. Um, hit us in the chat; we'll get you a link to that. We send it out in the email every week, but starting December first, we're going to be giving away some free stuff. I mean, we've got everything from like I've got Starbucks gift cards or Starbucks where people can go and like spend the Starbucks gift card till it runs out. I've yeah. got tickets to the state museum for us um, for you guys. I've also got um, a massage massage envy um gift card i've got coupons for um zero res we've got a lot of stuff to give our vips yeah it's pretty awesome and not to, mention, <laughs> and not to mention you're gonna christmas is gonna come early and you're gonna see a box on your doorstep from none other than the nash house group um with you like a little christmas present for you guys but we're giving it early because we want you to be able to utilize it with your family this holiday season and have a really good time and there is actually if you well, I don't want to give it away. You'll see it when it's on the doorstep. So don't be alcoholic. Like, what is this package? It is from the right. National School of Cobalt Banker. Midtown, me and Caleb um, have got some fun in store for you guys for yeah. the holiday season. So, Caleb, you know, we're talking holiday season. Um, and yesterday I watched um, with Lucy. Our, that's my niece, Caleb's cousin. Um, she's six. She's a handful. You've probably seen yes. her on my Instagram. Um, we watch basically every home alone known to man. Which may, brought about to me favorite holiday house. What movie has your favorite holiday house in it? I got to say, as a kid watching Home Alone, the original one, that house always seemed like it was so much fun. It is. And really, really cool. Like, it looked like an amazing place to be from the outside to the inside. Like, whoa. It, you know, it truly was a great house. And it's funny because we were watching it and your, your Nana, my mom, 
um, <laughs> was looking at it too. And I was like, remember when you had that Waverly wallpaper? And she says, I hear wallpapers coming back in. And I was like, it is, but not that wallpaper. Right. That wallpaper <laughs> is gone. Do not bring that. Everybody had that nope. Waverly wallpaper. I say everybody, but that Waverly wallpaper, that specific yeah. print was like huge with a little bit of mob, all it was huge. Yeah. Um, so my favorite holiday house is actually from the movie, The Holiday. And it would be the Cameron mm-hmm. Diaz house. Very, very awesome. But then, awesome. then the, the other side of me is like, that little British cottage felt really cozy for <laughs> um, the holidays. But overall, I'd say the holiday house from the holiday would be my favorite house. Oh, but then there's also the house from Love Actually that, um, I forgot her name. Um, the ones that were getting a divorce and had the the chill or the the find that her husband was yeah uh, you know almost going to cheat on her whatever that woman's name is I can't remember her name right now but she's a big actress um okay. and she was listening to Joni Mitchell I'm like that house was great too but yeah okay, I gotta just stick with one if I had to pick one I'm gonna pick the Holiday House yeah from the Holiday Cameron Diaz that's her. a great choice I mean there's yeah. so many great movie houses it takes so long for them to scout I was watching they had a little Netflix holiday movie you know, a little series. And they were talking about how long it takes to scout out these houses. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times they'll even build the interiors like on a soundstage. So it's pretty- I can see that. I mean, like I, that. Did, what was, do you remember what that was? Which one? The one, the, the Netflix that you watched. Do you don't remember the name of oh, it? Oh yeah, it's, I believe it's um the movies, the holiday movies we love or the movies we love. Okay. It, it's that, it's, they can do a lot different here, but they talk about how they built like the soundstage, how they found the Home Alone house. It's very interesting. <laughs> Well, that's something for you guys to check yeah. out. Um, and definitely we'll be giving you like, I guess maybe Friday we should give like our, like, or this week we should start like promoting what's our holiday list, our holiday yeah. um, music list. Uh, I think some people may already have their tree up. We're officially, me and Kelly are putting up our tree, tree today. Um, so that'll be exciting. I guess tonight, while well, after we watch The Thin Man, but right now he's solving <laughs> the problem with the hot tub. Oh, with, my dad, your grandfather, ah. grandfathers and dads are the best, right? Yes, they really and are. Hot really back to order. Are you going to some Black Friday sales, Caleb? Yeah, I would take a look. I would take a look around, see what we got around the town. See, hopefully we got some of the cool. It's just the crowds that are the, the wildest part. But luckily, I think Target and a bunch of places took a break last night because they weren't open. So, Oh, that's hope- good. That's good. Yeah. We give those people a break. You know, they work hard. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, you know, Thanksgiving is over. We are headed into Christmas. Um, stay tuned for, like I said, our report for the overall of the month. That one's a little bit longer yeah. one. And we'll also have some features about maybe like some shop local stuff, some places we'd love yeah. for you to see. Go shop local. Uh, keep in touch. Um, drop us a message. Let us know if you want us to cover something else about the market yeah. that's happening right now. Um, also, I think just in like current event news, I don't know if you guys know that we did get um, a new mayor that's going to be coming in, Daniel Workerman. I actually um, had an opportunity to meet Daniel Workerman and... Yeah. Um, he actually used to own Birds on a Wire. And one of the things that I owned by street, if any, any of you have been in Columbia a long time, yeah. you remember Birds on a Wire and it was delicious food. And I used to work on Divine Street myself, the Rodeo Drive of Columbia, in a high-end furniture store called Storehouse. Oh. And oh, Christmas time on Divine Street is amazing. Um, but one of the great things or like most bizarre things is people would run into, drive into the Birds on a Wire. I never understood that. But they, they got hit by a car. And so oh um, he's on to do other things. And now he's even doing some other things here with, um, uh, you know, being becoming mayor. So there's a lot of great things ahead for Columbia. I think we're really excited. I think um, I've seen, you know, uh, some thoughts on his plans that he has and actual plans, actual like like printed out plans. So um, I think we've got some good stuff coming to Columbia. We're always just happy just to rally around anybody who is our leadership here in Columbia to see great things happen. So I'm excited um, for yeah. the new year coming up and there'll be lots of that because that a lot of times when change happens, especially if we get lower taxes or anything like that, Daniel Workman, we're looking at you and city council. <laughs> um, then we can get more businesses, which means more economy, which means, you know, um, um, homes and all that kind of yeah. stuff, you know, start swinging towards people coming back into Columbia, um, the more city area, the more city proper area. So um, yeah, we have high hopes for that. So Yes, Caleb, it's, gonna be awesome. it's been a great report. Yes, it has. It's been amazing. So much happy fa- amazing Black news. Friday. Yeah, yeah, happy Black Friday. Friday. Oh, wait. This is a warning, and maybe we should put this flash that's on the screen. <laughs> if yes. you are somebody who is under contract, do not go spending money on Black Friday. Oh, yes, yes. Like Don't, a crazy do not person. Do that. Check with your lender. 
make sure that you have that amount you know, pre preferably in cash, not on your credit cards or anything that would ruin your credit before you go to close before holiday Christmas, or you're going to get Christmas cold because you're going to find out that you can't close because you are <laughs> right. over your debt to income ratio. All right. That's my it's warning. It's going to suck come January. You know, we have the holiday cheer right now. But come January, you're like, man, I wish I hadn't went right. out last night. <laughs> so come on, guys. All right. Watch. I feel like that was... Good warning. Flash that yes. warning across the screen. <laughs> All right, you guys. We hope you have a great uh, Black Friday. Stay in the green. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs>